Okay, we are go now going to explain this uh, dynamic programming rock cutting problem with this set of slides. So for example, if uh, we're going to create this array with 1, 2, 3, 4 as the length of my rod and the optimal price. So remember for dynamic programming uh, solutions, every uh, point over here is the optimal solution is the, if the length is of this certain uh, value. So let's start with the base case. The base case is this. If my length is equals to 1, there's no way for me to cut it. And so the optimal price will be that over here which is equals to the value of 1. We have this over here. Let's look at the second condition. If my length is equals to 2, I will have two ways to do this. So I will iterate through the number of ways I can cut it through my price uh, column over here. I can either not cut it or I cut it into two one piece rods. So if I cut it, I will first have the price from my price table, which is the first price, and the second price over here I get from my optimal price table over here. So this is the price if I decide to cut my rod. This is the price if I decide not to cut my rod. I will take the maximum of these two and this will give me the number of 5. So the best way I can deal with a rod of size 2 is not to cut it and leave it at you leave it as it is, giving me a price of 5. Let's look at the third option. In the third option, we have a length of 3, which means that we can either cut it with a length of 1, 2, with a length of 2, 1, or I choose not to cut it at all. There are 3 scenarios here, which we see the 3 scenarios over here. The first scenario, which is I choose not uh, sorry, I choose to cut it into one and two. I'm going to take the first value, which is the value of one, from my table, which is one, and the value of two. I'm taking it from this table over here, so giving me one plus five. Conversely, if I cut it at 2, 1. The first value 2, I'm going to get it from this table over here. And the next value of 1, I'll get it from this table, which will give me 5 plus 1. If I don't cut it, this will give me a value of 8, which is the value I get over here. The maximum of this 3 is equals to 8, and so 8 will then be placed over here. Okay, hope this is clear so far. In my last case, where it is equals to 4, I'm going to get maximum. There are, there are actually 4 ways not to do it. 4 meaning because there are 4 uh, so-called uh, ways in this uh, length uh, price table. I can choose not to cut it, which is my last one. I can choose to cut it into 3, 1, which is this. 2, 2, which is this. 1 comma 3 which is this. If I choose to cut it in 1 and 3, my first table I take from my optimal price table, my last uh, my next number I take from uh, over here which is 1 plus 8. This is my first value. My second value if I cut it in two by, into 2 by 2, my first 2 I take it from this table, my next 2 I take it from this table, I'm going to get 5 plus 5. My next value, the first value of 3, I take it from this table. The next value, I take it from this table, which is 8 plus 1. And the last, val last value, if I don't cut it, I take the value of 9. So the optimal value of this will be equal to the value of 10, which is, uh, which is uh, if I choose to cut it into 2 by 2. So this is then the formula, the way to solve this 
problem. Okay, so we're going to round up this discussion with uh, another demonstration of the code. So firstly, we need to create an array of uh, to store our optimal solutions. So this will be uh, array of zero of size m plus one. And the next thing that we need to do is uh, remember I iterated through the length of the rod. So I need to iterate through the length of the rod as well for range one all the way to m plus one, which is the length of the rod uh, to one because I'm going to stop at n. And for each iteration, I'm going to find out what I'm going to iterate through my price table as well. So this will be my price table, which is the range of my prices and I am in fact going to find out the maximum of this prices for this array for sorry for this j4 loop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the maximum value equals to zero first and then this maximum value in fact is going to be the maximum between my maximum my current maximum value versus my prices of my j meaning that i'm going to cut at point j and this will have the cost optimal price of i minus length of j this is the length whereby this cut is going to be at this is the price if i do the cuts at length j which is prices of J. This will be the optimal solution if I do the cut at length j. So I'm trying to find for this entire loop what is going to be the maximum value of whatever cut I can find by iterating through my prices and finding out what is the maximum value over here. And finally, after a big out of the loop, I have the maximum value. I'm going to set my array of i to be equals to my maximum value and I'm going to finally return my dp array which is my last one so hopefully there's no bug it seems okay so far okay so I have error so uh, j in range of 0 oh, to range of length of prices It still doesn't seem correct. Hmm, did I get something wrong over here? Let's see. Oh, I forgot to do something. So I need to check for i greater than equals to my length of j. So I have to check to see that my, uh, how to say, my my uh the length of uh, of uh the the uh rather the length of the rod that i'm considering is greater than or equals to the price table that i'm iterating through so only when this is greater than the length then can i carry out this condition hopefully this will work now and i spoke a bit too soon because i have another error which this should be a if so Yep, so I get it to work at last. So this is how uh, how we solve the dynamic rock cutting problem with dynamic programming. Um, yeah, so this is the code for it.